<laughs> Making his mark last month in the referendum to extend his rule. And Paul Kagame would have had little doubt it would go his way. I did not apply for this. This is, we will go and ask the Rwandans why they got involved in this. The critics say you want to be president for life and they say that will be no. a disaster for Rwanda's future and stability. I don't want. What is happening is people's choice. So ask people why they want it. For many, the answer lies in how far Rwanda has come under Kagame's rule. He began life as a refugee in Uganda. From an early age, he was schooled in conflict. He helped found Ugandan President Yari Museveni's rebel army in 1979, heading up its intelligence wing. Later, he spearheaded the Rwandan Patriotic Front movement, the force he led into Kigali in 1994 to end around 100 days of genocide. 21 years on, many Rwandans still don't want anyone else but Kagame in charge. Now 58, he's presided over a complete rebuilding. Its economy, its promotion of women's rights, even the spotless state of its streets. All regularly win admiration outside Rwanda. Kagame has prioritized national development, aiming to make Rwanda a middle-income country by 2020. Not everyone is a supporter. Critics claim Kagame does not tolerate dissent. Relations with some other African countries, among them the DR Congo, Burundi and South Africa, are brittle. The US and France are also no longer the allies they once were. At home, though, Kagame is confident he enjoys popular backing. And he's confident he's the best person to build on what he's achieved. But what, what future do you have for them? What do you plan to offer them? If you what future do they have for themselves? Not to me holding their future. They have their future in their own hands. Kagame can claim his own bid to retain power is the will of the majority. Clementine Logan, CCTV.